All right, now let's see what these scrolls say. I've been avoiding putting the fiberglass on this. I've waxed it a lot. And, you know, I'm still nervous that I'm going to put the fiberglass on here and it's not going to release. So I'm doing a little test. Okay, several hours later now, and this is fully cured, I'm sure. Okay, maybe this is going to work out all right. Still going to wax it one more time before I risk it. I think, I think I'm good. Oh, this is going to come out, this can come out so good or so bad. This morning I woke up, checked the weather. The weather looked good. So I said, that's it. I am doing the pontoon mold. So it's out here in position. I put a bunch of newspaper under it so it won't stick to the board under it. I just re-waxed the whole thing. I'm letting it sit in the sun to make sure that all dries. I got my umbrella. I got a stick over here so I can put the umbrella up to keep this in the shade while I'm putting the resin on. I got my roller, full bucket of resin. I just refilled it. <sighs> Big piece of fiberglass unrolled okay this is my plan i want to make sure this doesn't have any bubbles in it or anything so first i'm going to take this resin which is really thick because it's kind of a little bit too old uh, i'm just going to roll it on the whole thing real thick layer i'm going to let that cure a little bit enough till it's solid then i'm going to take this and put it on it and when it's in that solid state in the early stages it's really sticky so this will just stick right to us i'll just to get it right stuck to it and then I'll put more resin on that but thinner resin I'll thin it out with some new resin and then probably put a I don't know that's as far as I have actually laid out and planned right now once I get to that point everything else is a piece of cake I'll probably put like another two layers of fiberglass on after that and I've got my pontoon holders just tacked in with a few dots of resin here so anytime I have extra resin left over from doing a section of this I'll come over here and fiberglass in, you know, some of this stuff and some of that, like in the edges here. And I have a bunch of little rectangles right here for that. So I think I'm ready to, to do everything. Everything. All right, phase one complete. This is now coated in shiny, shiny resin, which will hopefully not stick too hard. And I did have enough to get some fiberglass on this. And fiberglass that thing in. I was hoping I would have enough space to mount this up here, which it looks like I totally will, because I'm putting my uh, hinge here for the pontoon holders. Plenty of space. So one concern I have with this is this makes a pretty tight corner in here, and this stuff does have some rigidity to it. So I might, you know, trying to get it to take that sharp corner might be an issue. It might kind of roll around and then I'll lose that, some of the shape. And, uh, yeah, I was thinking, hopefully I can just jam it in there, but I don't think I want to risk it. So I'm thinking I should take this, prop some wood under it, lift it up like, I don't know, a centimeter, centimeter and a half, and then 
this will be able to go right down to the bottom edge of this and then in the space between that's where it can curve out It's like a work of art. Got another layer of fiberglass on there. Two layers should be plenty strong to pull it out and have a look. freaking out a bit right now oh, over a conversation I just had over lunch with my daughters six and seven years old uh, to sum it up the, the conversation ended like this Aurora should I make my house a giant robot turtle and she said yes and that is gonna keep me up all night today anyway I gotta get back to this right now though okay just yeah, I'll think about that tonight. Oh, I'm so not sleeping tonight. Got that all waxed so once it dries I can put fiberglass in it. It'll take a while to dry because it was the first time I waxed it and there were a few little bubbles in there so they're kind of full of wax right now so they're gonna take a while to dry. In the meantime I'll secure these guys better because this is gonna have a pin through it which is like a pipe and then off the top and the bottom it's going to have like an arm that comes out to these pontoons. So one here, one there, and two on the other side. So these are going to have to be nice and strong. And they're going to be able to swing in and out. So they have to be strong, you know, with force going on them that way, but also force going that way and that way. And I also 
tilted them back so that when uh, the pontoons swing back, they go lower, and when they swing forward, they go up. So I'll be able to control the height of the pontoons just by swinging them forward or back. That should make that pretty stiff, at least at the bottom, to do with the top. 